Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing another tag video and this is Secrets of a Content Creator. This one was created by Liz at Naturally Liz. She is such a joy to watch here on YouTube. I absolutely love her channel. She's one of my comfort channels. She reminds me so much of one of my first cousins. Her voice, her accent, like the way she speaks reminds me so much of my cousin. It's unbelievable. So I feel like she's my family. <laughs> I just really enjoy her channel. She's actually brilliant. She has so many great ideas that she does on her channel. And great minds think alike because I've actually been keeping a note on my phone for quite a while with a tag video that I wanted to start and it was questions for content creators. So when I saw this video, I actually told her on that video, I'm going to do your tag girl and I'm going to maybe just stick in a few of my own questions that I had in my phone. Some of our questions were actually the same or at least similar. And some other ones like are questions that I really have that I want to know from content creators, like kind of advice I want from you guys. So let's get started. Liz's first question is how long have you been recording YouTube videos? For me, it's been a year and a half. The very first video I ever posted was on April 20th, 2023. So I can't believe it's already been a year and a half. It doesn't honestly seem possible. And you know, <laughs> you'd never know it because I'm not really getting good yet but I'm gonna keep on working at it. <laughs> Her second question is, do you record on a phone or camera? And my answer is I record on my phone. And in every single video in the description box near the bottom, my video says, shot on iPhone. You know, the classic phrase, shot on iPhone. Um, one of my questions was, what type of camera do you use? And what type of editing software do you use? That's the part of the question that I really want to know. So I use CapCut and I've never had CapCut Pro, but I actually just purchased one month because I had a sale to buy like a one month subscription to CapCut Pro. So I'm going to try it out this month. I'll be editing this one with CapCut Pro. Let me know if you see any difference. Um, but I've only just used like the basic version of CapCut and I've only ever shot vi videos on my phone. But I don't know, like at this point, I don't even know if I want to know what type of cameras everyone uses because I don't think I'm going to go with a camera. I don't think I need to do that because I'm going to have to figure out how to get the footage from a camera onto a computer and learn to edit with a mouse and like clicking around instead of on my phone, which I'm so used to. So I think I'm just going to stick with my phone unless I, I can, in the foreseeable future, I can't see that changing. But I do really want to know what type of editing software everybody uses. Some people have such cool graphics and like cool things on their editing. Like and I've always loved editing. I used to edit my mom's TV show. She had a TV show just on the community channel. Just like the, you know, just the community channel that was just basically Charlotte County, our island and a few towns on the mainland. But anyway, I would edit her videos and I had a great big, like huge, gigantic, thick Mac computer. Um, and one of the things I remember about editing was every time something was going wrong and I was trying to fix it, the computer would say, it's not my fault. <laughs> and I was like, well, whose fault is it then? <laughs> Oh, and her third question is, do you record in HD or 4K? Well, I actually took notice today that it says I'm recording in 4K, um, but when I export it from CapCut, I only export it in 1080p, and that's all I upload it to YouTube as is the 1080p, which is HD, I guess. Is it? No, HD? I don't know, 1080p. I, I really don't know, Liz. <laughs> I don't know. Her next question is, how do you plan your content? Um, I write things down in a book. When I first started my channel, I had all of these ideas. Like I just filled a book with ideas. I haven't even done like a 10th of these ideas, but basically lately I've just been flowing it. I just flow it and how it, that's what my sister and I always say. And I don't even know where that expression came from, but we say that always. Just flow it and how it. We'll just flow it and how it. Um, I just flow it and how it. What I do also is like whatever has been on my mind lately. Oh, I should do this video soon. I should do this. I'll just jot down like the top three videos either in a note on my phone or on a random scrap of paper and be like, next I want to do my fall perfume tray and my Holland declutter 
and my tag video from Liz. Like I'll just write down the next three that I want to do. I don't plan out my videos. I'm not sure if she means do you plan your content as in do you plan your videos. I don't plan what I'm going to say. Now, in the sense that I've never written a script for a video before. Once, I did one. When I did my Juliana's Perfumes collab, I did a script because I didn't want to forget anything. I wanted to make sure to say everything just right because I mean, I was doing a collab with them. But I've never written a script for a video before. No, I just, I'm I'm not a professional. I just, I just flow it and how it. <laughs> so question number five Liz has for us is, do you batch record? My answer up until last week would have been no. It takes me so friggin' long to set up and to get what I want to say out. Like you have no idea how long. I'll wait. I'm going to save that for the next question. I'm going to save that for the next question. But I just began last week was the first time I ever recorded two videos in one sitting ever in a year and a half. Um, I, and in fact, I was thinking like, oh, I want to change my shirt and change the picture on the TV because I was recording in the living room and I had the TV screen behind me. And I wish I had like changed my shirt and changed the picture on the TV. So it didn't look like the exact same moment, but I didn't. So if you watch my last two tag videos, which were the aha moment fragrance tag and the ultimate flex fragrance tag. Um, I was wearing the same shirt and, and it was in the exact same. I actually recorded those two videos at once and I'm doing it again today. And I think I like this. Um, it still takes me forever, but anyway, I, I, hopefully I'll be able to finish this video. I just got a text from my husband. He'll be 15 minutes late. That's perfect. Cause I want to have time to start the barbecue. We're having steaks tonight. Um, anyways, I have just stumbled upon the wonder of batch recording just this past week after a year and a half. So I'm loving it. And I think I'm going to try to do it at least once in a while from now on. Okay. Liz's next question is, do you record your videos in one take? What I have written down is ha ha ha. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, I mean, sometimes I will record it all in one take. Like it'll be 96 minutes of footage that I have to edit down to 20 minutes because it's just me stumbling and mumbling, especially now that I have my aligners in, I can barely talk half the time. I'm just like, I will try to get a sentence out of my mouth 15 times and I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. I will say the same thing over and over 15 times. And I just can't, like, I just, I'm a wreck. <laughs> Why are you guys even watching me? <laughs> um, no, but like the thing is, I'm not really good at recording and stuff. Like I, I just, like I stumble, I mumble, but I'm good at editing. I'm good at editing. I have edited for years and I can cut out, it, but you know, I love editing. I love editing, especially where I'm cutting it down from an hour and a half down to as low as I can possibly get it, which I'm trying to get all my videos under 20 minutes now, if I can. Some of them are not going to be able to be, but I am trying to get my videos down as low as I can because I know that like everybody's life is so busy. They don't have time to watch a super long video. So I'm really conscious of that. I'm trying to be more conscious of it and trying to get a little bit shorter videos, but sometimes I just can't get them that short because I, I am very long winded. I like to ramble on and on. As you know, I sometimes call myself ramble tamble. How long does it take to edit one video? It's, it's hours, it's days, it's stretched out over days, but I will spend eight hours, eight hours, probably 10 hours. Um, once in a while, there might be one that I can edit in maybe four hours. I'm good at editing, but I'm slow at it. Like I don't give myself a lot to work with when it comes to editing. I don't give myself I don't make it easy for myself. I have to try to like work with what I got on the video that I recorded. I'm like, oh man, I wish I had done better. But anyway, it does, it takes me hours and there's so much to it, the text and the overlays and it's fun. I love editing, but it does take me a really long time. Do you work full-time in a traditional job or are you a full-time content creator? If you do work a traditional job, do you work from home or do you travel? So I'm definitely not a full-time content creator. Um, I just really do it as a hobby. 
uh, I do work from home. I do all my work from home because that's where my computer is. I do all my work on the computer. I do all the book work uh, for my husband's carpentry company. So it's very dependent on days of the week and times of the month when I have a heavier workload. Like Tuesdays are payroll. That's, you know, a little bit more to do on those days. Um, the middle of the month, I have my remittance and my workman's comp. And usually I will make sure all the bills are paid at that time. And then I calculate the taxes and stuff at the end of the month. So the end of the month is a little bit heavier for me. But there are days that I literally have nothing to do. And so I will take those days to record and to edit. And I'm wondering like how people with a full-time job really have time for YouTube because everything takes me forever. And I just look at people in awe and I'm like, wow, they're working and they're doing YouTube. Like I'm here and I have a lot of free days that I don't have a lot going on. And then there are other days that I'm crazy busy and I have a, you know, a lot of work to get done by a certain deadline. But you know, I just don't know how y'all do it. I'm proud of you. I'm amazed by you. Like give me all your secrets. I want to know how you do it. <laughs> have you ever been recognized by a stranger from your channel? And if so, how did it make you feel? Well, I had quite a few people come up to me and say, aren't you that famous Jamie Roxanne? <laughs> no, no one's ever recognized me. No stranger has ever recognized me. But the way Liz answered this question, I could relate to so hard. I was like, girl, yes. When people you know come up to you and they tell you that they watch your channel, it is a little bit like, oh, I didn't want anyone to see my videos. It's so embarrassing in a way, but in another way, it's nice. So I actually had a message from a girl this week. She's a friend of ours and she lives on the mainland and she texted and she said, I've been watching your videos because I know my husband had told her about my channel when he was away one time. He had been talking to her and he had told her about it. And she's like, I love your videos. I've been watching your channel and it actually made me feel so good. Hi, Lacey, if you're watching. Um, I loved that comment. It just made my night when I got that message and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like someone I know is watching my videos and they enjoy them. No one's making fun of me. This is not the end of the world. I thought if anyone found out about my videos, I'd be so embarrassed, but it's, it's okay. I'm surviving. <laughs> and I actually like, I was, I was so flattered and I was so pleased that she actually really seemed to like my videos. So yeah, no, no strangers have recognized me, but I think people I know are slowly going to start watching my videos. They're going to find me eventually. So anyway, not much I can do about that. <laughs> is there one perfume you love that everyone else seems to dislike? Maybe Fleur Missing Person. I feel like people aren't as on board with that as I am. Or do you dislike a person that everyone else loves? You know, I would have said Bianco Latte because I don't like Bianco Latte and I feel like a lot of people really love it. However, I have noticed a lot of people agreeing with me on my videos when I say I don't like Bianco Latte. So I'm gonna have to go with um, Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues. I feel like that gets five stars, five star reviews, five stars from everybody. And I really don't like it. It's very molasses -y to me. And I kind of have an aversion to molasses. So I'm not a big fan of Vanilla Woods. And I feel like most people love it. So that is my answer for that one. If you could go back, am I already on the last question? Oh my goodness. If you could go back and give yourself a, if you could go, go <laughs> I'll edit that out or maybe I'll leave it in to show you what I have to deal with with myself. If you could go back and give yourself one piece of advice before you started your YouTube journey, what would it be? It would be just start. I have wanted to do a YouTube channel since forever, but so many things held me back. I didn't know what I was doing. Like I didn't know, I didn't know anything about how to do it. Um, I didn't really want people to find my videos, like I was just saying in the other question. Um, just so many things held me back for so long. And finally, I just started. I started not ready. Like I, I was not ready and yet I started. Just one day, I just threw a video up there. I just tried it out. I'm like, hey, I'm doing it. And I, I kind of now wonder why I didn't do it sooner. My advice would be just start, just do it. Um, that's what I would have told myself is just do it. However, at the same time, I kind of believe in the timing of the universe. So I feel like this is when I am meant to be doing it. Those are all of Liz's questions. 
And I did have some similar questions to her. What type of camera do you use or do you just use your phone? Uh, what do you use for editing software? Do you ever feel like quitting? Does it bring you down when your video gets low views? Do you overthink every step in the process or do you just have a good old happy-go-lucky fun time with it? <laughs> do you struggle coming up with ideas for videos? These were just some of my questions. Like whenever I'm feeling a certain way, I wonder if other content creators also feel this way or even just answer in the comments below if you guys want. Like, do you ever feel like quitting? Like, does it bring you down when your video gets low views? Like sometimes it, it does. Like I had to be honest, it does. I know we're not supposed to like care about that, but I feel like as humans, even from the time we're children, when you create something and you show someone, you want them to like it. A child comes up to you and they color a picture. They're like, look, look what I did. Like, it's just, it's natural. It's a human, it's an absolute human instinct, I feel, to want people to watch your video and enjoy it and to get views on it. So I also had some questions in my list of, this was back before it was monetized. Um, I say monetized, it makes $6 a week, okay? <laughs> It's no big deal, but I'm still thankful for that. I'm not saying that in a negative way. Like I'm still thankful, but it's not like, oh, I'm monetized now. You know, I make six to $8 a week. <laughs> um, do you guys make money from your channel? And even though I do not yet, do you guys still see commercials on my videos? See, I've had YouTube premium for so long because I watch so much YouTube that it's worth it to me to have YouTube premium. Um, so I never see commercials and sometimes I forget that there are ads on YouTube videos. Like I totally forgot. And I always wondered if before I was even monetized, which was the whole first year that I filmed YouTube, I wondered, do people still see commercials on my videos, even though I'm not monetized? So I kind of wondered that. Have you seen commercials on my YouTube videos ever since when I first started? Because I don't know. I just always been curious about that. Okay, here's a question that I really wanna know from anyone who makes, like I really need to know this. All those dozens of messages you get from people wanting to do SEO score that you, you know, your SEO score is super low, you need me to go and, and fix your SEO for you. Is that legit? Like, does anyone do that? Tell me please in the comments if you're like, yeah, girl, you're missing out if you're not doing that. Or is it just a scam? Like, I feel like you have to give them the password to your channel and they have to go in and do stuff and I wouldn't want someone else to have control over my channel or sign in on my page. So anyway, this video is gonna get too long if I go through everything. So Liz, thank you so much for creating this tag video and thank you for tagging me. I just absolutely loved doing this video. Um, I just think it's really fun for us to like share our information and you know talk about what we do talk about how we're feeling about it and I don't know it's just fun to connect on that level and guys make sure you go check out Liz's video as well I will link it in the description box below and I hope to see you guys in the next video bye